Book Review The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell is a timeless classic that provides valuable insights into the fundamental principles of effective leadership. With a wealth of wisdom and practical examples, Maxwell presents 21 laws that, when understood and applied, can transform individuals into influential and successful leaders. Let's explore each chapter and the major action points they offer. Chapter 1. The Law of the Lid In Chapter 1 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell introduces readers to the concept of the law of the lid. According to this law, a person's leadership ability determines their level of effectiveness in any endeavor. The lid represents the maximum level of achievement a person can reach, and it is determined by their leadership skills. Maxwell emphasizes that to improve effectiveness and reach higher levels of success, individuals must focus on developing their leadership abilities. Regardless of their field or industry, leadership skills play a crucial role in unlocking potential and achieving desired outcomes. To further illustrate the law of the lid, let's consider the example of Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur and CEO of companies like Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink. Elon Musk's leadership skills have been instrumental in driving innovation and reshaping multiple industries. Musk's ability to lead and inspire is evident in his bold vision for a sustainable future with electric vehicles, renewable energy, and space exploration. His relentless pursuit of audacious goals and his ability to rally talented individuals around his vision exemplify strong leadership. Moreover, Musk demonstrates the law of the lid through his continuous learning and growth mindset. He actively seeks knowledge, immerses himself in diverse fields, and surrounds himself with experts. This commitment to personal and professional development has enabled him to push the boundaries of what is possible. By examining Musk's leadership journey, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the law of the lid. Musk's example showcases how his exceptional leadership skills have lifted the lid on what is achievable in industries that were previously stagnant or lacking innovation. His visionary leadership serves as an inspiration for others to develop their own leadership abilities and strive for greatness in their respective fields. The key takeaway from Chapter 1 is that by recognizing the law of the lid and actively investing in leadership development, individuals can break through their self-imposed limitations and unlock their full potential for success. Just as Elon Musk's leadership has revolutionized industries, readers can aspire to emulate his example by continuously developing their leadership skills and challenging the boundaries of what they can achieve. Chapter 2, The Law of Influence In Chapter 2 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of influence. This law states that true leadership is not about titles, positions, or authority. It is about influence. Maxwell emphasizes that effective leaders positively influence and impact the lives of others by building relationships, practicing empathy, and serving those around them. To illustrate the law of influence, let's consider the example of Malala Yousafzai, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate and activist for female education. Malala's unwavering commitment to advocating for girls' education in Pakistan and worldwide exemplifies the power of influence. Malala became a prominent figure through her courage and determination to fight for education, even in the face of adversity. Her story resonated globally, and she used her influence to shed light on the importance of education for all, particularly for girls in regions where access is limited. Malala's leadership is grounded in her ability to connect with people on a deep level. Her empathy and understanding of the struggles faced by young girls in accessing education allowed her to build strong relationships and rally support for her cause. Through her speeches, interviews, and activism, 
she inspired millions and influenced policymakers and organizations to prioritize education as a fundamental right. Furthermore, Malala's leadership demonstrates the law of influence through her servant-hearted approach. She has dedicated her life to serving others, especially those who are marginalized and denied access to education. Her selflessness and commitment to making a positive impact have earned her respect and influence among global leaders and communities. By examining Malala's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of influence. Malala's example shows that even as a young individual without a formal title or position, one can have a significant influence on the world by passionately pursuing a cause, building relationships, and serving others. The key takeaway from Chapter 2 is that true leadership is not determined by formal authority, but by the influence one has on others. Through empathy, relationship building, and a commitment to serving others, individuals can become influential leaders in their spheres of influence, just as Malala Yousafzai has done. Chapter 3 The Law of Process in Chapter 3 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell delves into the law of process. This law emphasizes that leadership is a journey rather than a destination. Maxwell stresses the importance of embracing the process of continuous learning, growth, and improvement to become an effective leader over time. To illustrate the law of process, let's consider the example of Serena Williams one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Serena's leadership journey and her relentless commitment to personal and professional growth exemplify the power of the process. Serena's rise to tennis stardom was not an overnight success. It was the result of years of dedication, practice, and continuous improvement. She began playing tennis at a young age and honed her skills through consistent training and competing against top-level opponents. Throughout her career, Serena has faced setbacks and obstacles. However, she has always embraced the process of learning from her mistakes and adapting her game. She has consistently sought ways to improve her technique, physical fitness, and mental resilience. This commitment to continuous growth has allowed her to dominate the sport and maintain her position as one of the most influential figures in tennis. Moreover, Serena's leadership extends beyond her performance on the court. She uses her platform to advocate for gender equality, racial justice, and empowerment. Serena's dedication to using her influence to create a positive impact demonstrates her understanding of the ongoing process of leadership and the responsibility that comes with it. By examining Serena Williams's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of process. Serena's example shows that true leadership is not achieved overnight but is the result of consistent effort, a willingness to learn, and a commitment to personal growth. She demonstrates that even the greatest athletes must continually refine their skills and adapt to stay at the top of their game. The key takeaway from Chapter 3 is that leadership is a lifelong journey. By embracing the process of continuous learning, growth, and improvement, individuals can develop their leadership abilities over time. Serena Williams serves as an example of the transformative power of embracing the process and continually striving for excellence in one's chosen field. Chapter 4 The Law of Navigation In Chapter 4 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of navigation. This law emphasizes the importance of setting direction, planning, and making informed decisions as essential elements of effective leadership. Maxwell highlights that leaders must possess a clear vision and the ability to chart a course to reach their goals. To illustrate the law of navigation, let's consider the example of Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. Nadella's leadership journey and his strategic navigation of Microsoft's transformation exemplify the power of effective navigation. 
When Nadella assumed the role of CEO in 2014, Microsoft faced significant challenges in a rapidly evolving technology landscape. Nadella recognized the need for a clear direction and a transformative vision for the company. He charted a new course by focusing on cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and open collaboration. Under Nadella's leadership, Microsoft successfully shifted its focus from a traditional software company to a cloud-first, mobile-first organization. His strategic decisions, such as the acquisition of LinkedIn and GitHub, played a vital role in expanding Microsoft's presence and aligning the company with emerging technologies. Nadella's leadership demonstrates the law of navigation through his ability to set a clear vision and communicate it effectively to the organization. He emphasizes the importance of empathy, diversity, and inclusion, fostering a culture of innovation and collaboration. Nadella's navigational skills have propelled Microsoft to new heights, with the company consistently outperforming market expectations. By examining Satya Nadella's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of navigation. Nadella's example shows that effective leaders not only envision the destination but also possess the strategic acumen to chart a course and make informed decisions along the way. He emphasizes the significance of adaptability and embracing emerging technologies to navigate the complex challenges of the business landscape successfully. The key takeaway from Chapter 4 is that leadership involves navigating through uncertain waters by setting a clear direction, making informed decisions, and adapting to change. Satya Nadella's leadership exemplifies the power of effective navigation in driving organizational success and transformation. His visionary approach and strategic decisions inspire readers to develop their navigational skills and lead their teams or organizations toward a brighter future. Chapter 5, The Law of Addition In Chapter 5 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of addition. This law emphasizes that true leaders add value to others. Maxwell highlights the significance of investing in people, helping them grow, and fostering a culture of appreciation and encouragement. To illustrate the law of addition, let's consider the example of Oprah Winfrey, the renowned media executive, philanthropist, and talk show host. Oprah's leadership journey and her dedication to adding value to the lives of others exemplify the power of making a positive impact. Throughout her career, Oprah has consistently focused on uplifting and empowering individuals through her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show. She dedicated her platform to sharing inspiring stories, addressing societal issues, and providing valuable knowledge and insights to her viewers. Oprah's ability to connect with her audience and add value to their lives made her show immensely popular and impactful. Furthermore, Oprah's commitment to personal growth and continuous learning is evident in her creation of the Oprah Winfrey Network, OWN, and her book club. Through OWN, Oprah aims to inspire and enlighten viewers by offering a wide range of programming that promotes personal development, spirituality, and well-being. Her book club selections have sparked a culture of reading and self-improvement, further adding value to the lives of millions of readers. Additionally, Oprah's philanthropic endeavors demonstrate her dedication to making a positive difference. Through the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls, she provides quality education and empowerment opportunities to young girls in South Africa. Her charitable contributions and support for various causes, including women's rights and education, highlight her commitment to adding value to the lives of those in need. By examining Oprah Winfrey's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of addition. Oprah's example shows that true leaders are dedicated to adding value to others by sharing knowledge, providing opportunities, and promoting personal growth and well-being.
The key takeaway from Chapter 5 is that leadership involves investing in people and adding value to their lives. Oprah Winfrey's leadership exemplifies the power of making a positive impact through media, education, and philanthropy. Her example inspires readers to embrace the law of addition and seek opportunities to uplift and empower those around them. Chapter 6, The Law of Solid Ground In Chapter 6 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of solid ground. This law emphasizes the importance of integrity, honesty, and consistency in building trust and credibility as a leader. Maxwell highlights that leaders who establish a solid ground of character and ethics are more likely to inspire and garner the trust of their followers. To further illustrate the law of solid ground, let's consider the example of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the late Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Ginsburg's leadership journey and her unwavering commitment to upholding justice and equality exemplify the power of solid ground leadership. Throughout her career, Ginsburg was known for her unwavering adherence to principles and her consistent pursuit of equal rights under the law. She played a pivotal role in advancing gender equality and women's rights, both as an attorney and as a Supreme Court justice. Ginsburg's integrity and steadfast commitment to the Constitution earned her the respect and trust of her colleagues, legal professionals, and the public. She demonstrated a consistent and principled approach to her work, ensuring that her decisions were guided by the law and a deep understanding of the Constitution. Moreover, Ginsburg's personal and professional integrity extended beyond the courtroom. She conducted herself with dignity treating others with respect and compassion, even when facing opposing viewpoints. Her ability to maintain composure and engage in civil discourse, even in contentious situations, showcased her solid ground leadership. By examining Ruth Bader Ginsburg's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of solid ground. Ginsburg's example demonstrates that leaders who exemplify integrity honesty, and consistency in their actions and decisions build a solid foundation of trust and credibility. The key takeaway from Chapter 6 is that leadership requires establishing solid ground through unwavering principles and ethical conduct. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's leadership exemplifies the power of solid ground leadership, where integrity and consistency serve as the bedrock for inspiring trust and making a lasting impact in the pursuit of justice and equality. Her example inspires readers to emulate her unwavering commitment to principles and ethics in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 7, The Law of Respect In Chapter 7 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell delves into the law of respect. This law emphasizes that leadership is earned, not given. Maxwell highlights the importance of valuing people, treating them with respect, and building credibility to gain the respect and loyalty of others. To further illustrate the law of respect, let's consider the example of Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Ardern's leadership journey and her compassionate approach to governance exemplify the power of respect in leadership. Ardern's leadership style is characterized by her empathetic and inclusive approach to decision-making and her commitment to listening to diverse voices. Her handling of the Christchurch mosque shootings in 2019 showcased her ability to rally a nation in crisis through her compassionate response and unwavering support for affected communities. Ardern's leadership is built on a foundation of respect for the people she serves. She actively engages with citizens, connects with them on a personal level, and seeks to understand their needs and concerns. Her transparency and authenticity in addressing difficult issues have earned her the respect and trust of the public. Furthermore, Ardern's leadership extends beyond her own country. She has been an advocate for global issues, such as climate change, women's rights, and social justice. 
Her diplomatic efforts and collaborative approach have garnered respect from international leaders and organizations. By examining Jacinda Ardern's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of respect. Ardern's example demonstrates that leaders who genuinely value and respect the individuals they lead are more likely to earn their loyalty and support. The key takeaway from Chapter 7 is that leadership involves earning respect through valuing and treating others with respect. Jacinda Ardern's leadership exemplifies the power of respect in building strong relationships, inspiring trust, and rallying people towards a common goal. Her example inspires readers to emulate her inclusive and empathetic approach to leadership, fostering a culture of respect in their own spheres of influence. Chapter 8 The Law of Intuition In Chapter 8 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of intuition. This law emphasizes the importance of leaders relying on their intuition, insight, and experience to make effective decisions. Maxwell highlights that great leaders develop their intuition through learning, observation, and staying attuned to their surroundings. To further illustrate the law of intuition, let's consider the example of Angela Duckworth, a psychologist and author known for her research on grit and its impact on success. Duckworth's leadership journey and her groundbreaking work exemplify the power of intuition in leadership. Duckworth's research focuses on understanding the qualities that contribute to long-term success, with a particular emphasis on grit, the perseverance and passion for long-term goals. Through her intuitive approach, she identified the importance of grit in predicting achievement and resilience, challenging conventional notions of talent and intelligence as the sole indicators of success. Duckworth's intuition led her to develop the grit scale, a tool that measures an individual's perseverance and passion towards long-term goals. Her research findings have had significant implications for various fields, including education, sports, and personal development. Moreover, Duckworth's leadership is rooted in her ability to observe and learn from others. She has conducted extensive interviews and studies with high achievers, seeking to understand their experiences and motivations. Her intuition, honed through these interactions, has allowed her to uncover insights and principles that resonate with individuals striving for excellence. By examining Angela Duckworth's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of intuition. Duckworth's example shows that effective leaders cultivate their intuition by actively engaging in learning, observing, and reflecting on their experiences and the experiences of others. The key takeaway from Chapter 8 is that leadership involves developing and trusting one's intuition. Angela Duckworth's leadership exemplifies the power of intuition in uncovering valuable insights and challenging conventional wisdom. Her example inspires readers to embrace their intuition, actively learn from their surroundings, and make decisions based on a combination of intuition, insight, and experience in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 9 The Law of Magnetism in Chapter 9 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of magnetism. This law emphasizes that leaders attract others based on who they are and the value they bring. Maxwell highlights that influential leaders possess qualities that naturally draw people to them and create a sense of loyalty and inspiration. To further illustrate the law of magnetism, Let's consider the example of LeBron James, the professional basketball player and philanthropist. LeBron's leadership journey and his ability to inspire and unite others exemplify the power of magnetism in leadership. LeBron's on-court achievements are widely recognized, but it is his off-court impact that showcases his magnetism as a leader. He has used his platform and influence to advocate for social justice, education, and community development. Through his LeBron James Family Foundation, 
He has established programs and initiatives to support underserved children and their families, providing educational opportunities and resources. LeBron's magnetism stems from his authenticity, humility, and dedication to making a positive impact. He leads by example, both in his athletic pursuits and his commitment to social causes. His ability to connect with people from diverse backgrounds, inspire them, and rally them around a common purpose has made him an influential figure both on and off the basketball court. Furthermore, LeBron's leadership extends beyond his philanthropy. As a teammate, he fosters a culture of camaraderie, mentorship, and collaboration, inspiring his fellow athletes to excel and work together towards shared goals. He builds strong relationships based on trust, respect, and a shared sense of purpose. By examining LeBron James's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of magnetism. LeBron's example shows that influential leaders attract others through their authenticity, humility, and dedication to making a positive impact. His ability to inspire and unite diverse groups of people serves as an inspiration for readers to cultivate their own magnetism and draw others toward their vision and goals. The key takeaway from Chapter 9 is that leadership involves developing qualities that naturally attract and inspire others. LeBron James's leadership exemplifies the power of magnetism in uniting people, creating positive change, and making a lasting impact. His example inspires readers to cultivate their own magnetism, led with authenticity, and attract others to their vision and mission. Chapter 10, The Law of Connection In Chapter 10 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of connection. This law emphasizes the importance of building rapport, establishing meaningful relationships, and effectively communicating with others. Maxwell highlights that leaders who connect with people on a genuine level are more likely to gain their trust, loyalty, and commitment. To further illustrate the law of connection, let's consider the example of Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States. Obama's leadership journey and his ability to connect with diverse audiences exemplify the power of connection in leadership. Throughout his presidency, Obama demonstrated a remarkable talent for connecting with people from all walks of life. His ability to articulate a vision, empathize with others, and build rapport transcended cultural and generational boundaries. Obama's speeches and personal interactions resonated with individuals from diverse backgrounds, inspiring hope and fostering a sense of unity. Obama's leadership is characterized by his authenticity, warmth, and ability to actively listen. He created an inclusive and participatory environment where people felt heard and valued. Through his engagement with citizens, stakeholders, and world leaders, he fostered relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Furthermore, Obama's leadership extends beyond his time in office. He continues to connect with people through his writing, public speaking engagements, and initiatives such as the Obama Foundation. His ability to connect with younger generations, in particular, has fueled movements and inspired young leaders to become agents of change. By examining Barack Obama's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of connection. Obama's example shows that effective leaders connect with others by genuinely understanding their perspectives, communicating with empathy, and forging meaningful relationships. The key takeaway from Chapter 10 is that leadership involves building strong connections with others. Barack Obama's leadership exemplifies the power of connection in bridging divides, inspiring collective action, and creating a sense of shared purpose. His example inspires readers to cultivate their own ability to connect with people, foster rapport, and communicate effectively in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 11, The Law of the Inner Circle 
In Chapter 11 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of the inner circle. This law emphasizes the importance of surrounding oneself with a strong and diverse team of individuals who complement one's strengths and compensate for weaknesses. Maxwell highlights that leaders who build a capable and trusted inner circle are more likely to achieve their goals and navigate challenges successfully. To further illustrate the law of the inner circle, let's consider the example of Melinda Gates, philanthropist and co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Melinda's leadership journey and her ability to assemble a talented and diverse inner circle exemplify the power of a strong support network in leadership. Melinda Gates recognizes the significance of collaboration and leveraging expertise to address complex global challenges. Through the Gates Foundation, she and her husband, Bill Gates, have made substantial contributions to areas such as global health, education, and poverty alleviation. Melinda's leadership is characterized by her commitment to diversity and inclusivity within her inner circle. She understands the importance of different perspectives and experiences in driving effective decision-making and achieving meaningful impact. By surrounding herself with individuals from diverse backgrounds and fields of expertise, Melinda ensures that her organization benefits from a wide range of ideas, insights, and approaches. Moreover, Melinda's leadership extends beyond her immediate team. She actively seeks partnerships and collaborations with organizations, governments, and communities to amplify the impact of their philanthropic efforts. Her ability to build alliances and mobilize resources has significantly expanded the reach and effectiveness of the Gates Foundation's initiatives. By examining Melinda Gates' leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of the inner circle. Melinda's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand the importance of assembling a capable and diverse team, fostering a culture of collaboration, and leveraging collective expertise to drive positive change. The key takeaway from Chapter 11 is that leadership involves building a strong and trusted inner circle. Melinda Gates' leadership exemplifies the power of an inclusive and talented support network in achieving impactful outcomes. Her example inspires readers to cultivate their own inner circle, comprising individuals who complement their strengths compensate for weaknesses, and collectively contribute to their leadership vision and goals. Chapter 12, The Law of Empowerment In Chapter 12 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of empowerment. This law emphasizes the importance of empowering others to reach their full potential and fostering a culture of trust, autonomy, and growth. Maxwell highlights that leaders who empower their team members create an environment that encourages innovation, ownership, and high performance. To further illustrate the law of empowerment, let's consider the example of Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google and Alphabet Inc. Pichai's leadership journey and his focus on empowering employees exemplify the power of empowerment in leadership. Pachai understands the value of fostering an environment that empowers individuals to take ownership of their work and explore new ideas. He encourages a culture of innovation and experimentation, where employees feel empowered to challenge the status quo and pursue creative solutions. Under Pichai's leadership, Google has implemented initiatives such as 20% Time and Google X that provide employees with dedicated time and resources to work on passion projects and explore innovative ideas. This approach has fostered a culture of empowerment and has led to groundbreaking products and advancements. Furthermore, Pachai recognizes the importance of trust and autonomy in empowering employees. He delegates decision-making authority to team members, allowing them to take calculated risks and make meaningful contributions. Pichai's leadership style emphasizes providing guidance and support while allowing individuals to develop their own skills and capabilities. 
Moreover, PitchEye's commitment to empowering others extends beyond Google's internal workings. He has spearheaded initiatives such as Google for Startups and programs to support digital literacy and education, aiming to empower individuals and communities around the world through technology and knowledge. By examining Sundar Pichai's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of empowerment. Pichai's example demonstrates that effective leaders create an empowering environment that allows individuals to thrive, take risks, and contribute their best work. The key takeaway from Chapter 12 is that leadership involves empowering others to reach their full potential. Sundar Pichai's leadership exemplifies the power of empowerment in fostering innovation, autonomy, and growth. His example inspires readers to cultivate a culture of trust, provide guidance and support, and empower individuals to unleash their creativity and capabilities in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 13, The Law of Reproduction In Chapter 13 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of reproduction. This law emphasizes the importance of reproducing leadership by investing in and developing the next generation of leaders. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the significance of mentorship, coaching, and creating a legacy that extends beyond their own tenure. To further illustrate the law of reproduction, let's consider the example of Angela Merkel, the former Chancellor of Germany. Merkel's leadership journey and her commitment to mentoring and developing future leaders exemplify the power of reproduction in leadership. Throughout her tenure, Merkel has demonstrated a keen understanding of the importance of investing in the next generation of leaders. She has actively mentored and nurtured emerging political talents within her party, providing them with opportunities to grow, learn, and assume leadership roles. Through her mentorship and support, she has empowered individuals who have gone on to hold influential positions in German politics. Merkel's approach to leadership extends beyond her immediate political sphere. She has also championed initiatives to foster leadership and empowerment among women. Merkel has actively promoted gender equality and advocated for greater representation of women in leadership positions, recognizing the importance of diverse voices and perspectives in driving positive change. Moreover, Merkel's leadership legacy can be seen in the leadership style and principles adopted by those she has mentored. Many of her protégés have embraced her values of pragmatism, inclusivity, and steady leadership, carrying forward her approach to governance and making their own mark in the political landscape. By examining Angela Merkel's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of reproduction. Merkel's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand the importance of investing in others, mentoring emerging talents, and creating a legacy that extends beyond their own leadership tenure. The key takeaway from Chapter 13 is that leadership involves reproducing leaders by investing in and developing the next generation. Angela Merkel's leadership exemplifies the power of reproduction in fostering leadership growth, diversity, and positive impact. Her example inspires readers to embrace mentorship, support emerging leaders, and create a lasting legacy through the development and empowerment of others. Chapter 14, The Law of Buy-In In Chapter 14 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of buy-in. This law emphasizes the importance of gaining the support and commitment of others when pursuing a vision or implementing a plan. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the significance of building consensus, addressing concerns, and inspiring others to align their efforts with a shared goal. To further illustrate the law of buy-in, let's consider the example of Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. 
Ardern's leadership journey and her ability to mobilize support and build a movement around her policy proposals exemplify the power of buy-in in leadership. Ardern has showcased her skill in gaining buy-in by effectively engaging with the public and addressing their concerns. She has displayed a remarkable ability to connect with diverse audiences, understand their needs, and communicate her vision in a way that resonates with them. Ardern's response to the Christchurch mosque shootings in 2019 serves as a powerful example of her ability to mobilize support and build buy-in. Following the tragic event, Ardern displayed strong leadership by offering compassion, unity, and decisive action. Her empathetic response resonated with the public, and she rallied the nation around a shared vision of healing, resilience, and inclusivity. Additionally, Ardern's leadership is characterized by her commitment to transparency and open dialogue. She actively seeks input and feedback from citizens, stakeholders, and experts when formulating policies. By involving others in the decision-making process, she fosters a sense of ownership and collaboration, increasing the likelihood of buy-in from various groups. Moreover, Ardern's leadership extends beyond New Zealand's borders. She has been a vocal advocate for issues such as climate change, poverty reduction, and women's rights on the global stage. Her ability to inspire and engage with international audiences has contributed to her influence and support on an international level. By examining Jacinda Ardern's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of buy-in. Ardern's example demonstrates that effective leaders gain buy-in by connecting with people, addressing concerns, and inspiring collective action around a shared vision. The key takeaway from Chapter 14 is that leadership involves gaining buy-in from others when pursuing a vision or implementing a plan. Jacinda Ardern's leadership exemplifies the power of buy-in in mobilizing support, building consensus, and creating positive change. Her example inspires readers to cultivate their own ability to engage, listen, and inspire buy-in from diverse stakeholders in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 15, The Law of Victory In Chapter 15 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of victory. This law emphasizes the importance of leading with a mindset of achieving victory and fostering a culture of excellence. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the significance of setting high standards, pursuing continuous improvement, and rallying their team toward a shared goal of success. To further illustrate the law of victory, let's consider the example of Serena Williams, the renowned professional tennis player. Serena's leadership journey and her unwavering dedication to excellence exemplify the power of victory in leadership. Serena's relentless pursuit of victory is evident in her commitment to continuous improvement and her ability to overcome challenges. She sets high standards for herself and constantly pushes the boundaries of her abilities, always striving to elevate her game. Throughout her career, Serena has demonstrated exceptional mental toughness and resilience, bouncing back from setbacks and turning them into opportunities for growth. She embodies the law of victory by maintaining a positive mindset, embracing the challenges, and using them as fuel for her improvement and success. Moreover, Serena's leadership extends beyond her individual achievements. She has been a source of inspiration and empowerment for aspiring tennis players, particularly women of color. Through her success, she has broken barriers and shattered stereotypes, showing that victory is not limited by gender or race. Additionally, Serena's leadership is characterized by her sportsmanship and grace, both in victory and defeat. She embodies the values of respect, perseverance, and humility, earning the admiration and respect of fans and fellow athletes around the world. By examining Serena Williams's leadership journey, Readers can grasp the essence of the law of victory.
Serena's example demonstrates that effective leaders embrace a mindset of victory, set high standards, continuously improve, and inspire others to strive for excellence. The key takeaway from Chapter 15 is that leadership involves fostering a culture of victory and excellence. Serena Williams's leadership exemplifies the power of victory in setting high standards, pursuing continuous improvement, and inspiring others to reach their full potential. Her example inspires readers to embrace a mindset of victory, set ambitious goals, and led their teams toward a shared vision of success. Chapter 16, The Law of the Big Mo. In Chapter 16 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of the Big Mo, which emphasizes the importance of momentum in leadership. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the significance of generating and harnessing momentum to drive progress, inspire others, and achieve remarkable results. To further illustrate the law of the Big Mo, let's consider the example of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the U.S. Congresswoman representing New York's 14th Congressional District. Ocasio-Cortez's leadership journey and her ability to mobilize support and create momentum around her policy proposals exemplify the power of the Big Mo in leadership. Ocasio-Cortez burst onto the political scene as a political outsider challenging a well-established incumbent in the Democratic primary. She leveraged social media and grassroots organizing to create a movement around her progressive policy ideas, such as the Green New Deal and Medicare for All. Her ability to generate momentum can be attributed to several factors. First, Ocasio-Cortez's authenticity and relatability resonated with a diverse audience, particularly younger generations. She effectively communicated her message through various platforms, engaging with constituents and creating a sense of shared purpose. Furthermore, Ocasio-Cortez's use of social media, especially Twitter, allowed her to bypass traditional media channels and directly connect with her supporters. By leveraging these platforms, she effectively engaged with a broad base of followers, inspiring them to get involved and take action. Ocasio-Cortez's leadership is characterized by her boldness, fearlessness, and ability to challenge the status quo. She harnessed the momentum she generated to push for progressive policies and advocate for marginalized communities, becoming a voice for those traditionally underrepresented in politics. By examining Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of the Big Mo. Ocasio-Cortez's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand how to generate and harness momentum by connecting with constituents, communicating authentically, and championing bold ideas. The key takeaway from Chapter 16 is that leadership involves understanding the power of momentum and using it to drive progress and inspire others. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's leadership exemplifies the ability to generate and leverage the Big Mo, mobilizing support and creating a movement around important issues. Her example inspires readers to embrace momentum, think boldly, and lead with conviction to achieve meaningful change in their own spheres of influence. Chapter 17. The Law of Priorities in Chapter 17 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of priorities, emphasizing the importance of effective time management and decision-making. Maxwell highlights that successful leaders understand the significance of prioritizing tasks and focusing their energy on activities that align with their goals and produce the greatest impact. To further illustrate the law of priorities, Let's consider the example of Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple Inc. Cook's leadership journey and his strategic focus on innovation, customer experience, and sustainability exemplify the power of priorities in leadership. Cook is renowned for his disciplined approach to managing time and resources. Under his leadership, 
Apple has consistently focused on a select number of core products and services, prioritizing innovation and delivering exceptional user experiences. One of Cook's key priorities has been sustainability and environmental responsibility. He has led Apple's efforts to reduce its carbon footprint, transition to renewable energy sources, and adopt environmentally friendly practices throughout the supply chain. By prioritizing sustainability, Cook demonstrates his commitment to corporate social responsibility and long term value creation. Furthermore, Cook's ability to prioritize strategic partnerships and collaborations has been instrumental in Apple's success. He has formed alliances with other industry leaders, leveraging their expertise and resources to further Apple's goals and expand its reach. Cook's leadership is characterized by his focus on the customer experience. He has emphasized the importance of providing products and services that meet customers' needs and exceed their expectations. By prioritizing customer satisfaction and loyalty, Cook has solidified Apple's position as a leader in the technology industry. By examining Tim Cook's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of priorities. Cook's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand the significance of prioritizing key areas such as innovation, sustainability, partnerships, and customer experience to drive success and create a lasting impact. The key takeaway from Chapter 17 is that leadership involves making deliberate choices about where to allocate time and resources. Tim Cook's leadership exemplifies the power of priorities in focusing efforts, driving innovation, and creating sustainable growth. His example inspires readers to evaluate their own priorities, align them with their goals, and make strategic decisions to maximize their impact in their own leadership journeys. Chapter 18, The Law of Sacrifice In Chapter 18 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of sacrifice. This law emphasizes that leaders must be willing to give up certain things in order to achieve their goals and fulfill their responsibilities. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the importance of making sacrifices and prioritizing the greater good over personal interests. To further illustrate the law of sacrifice, let's consider the example of Malala Yousafzai, the Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest ever Nobel Prize laureate. Malala's leadership journey and her unwavering dedication to her cause exemplify the power of sacrifice in leadership. Malala's advocacy for girls' education in Pakistan made her a target of the Taliban, who attempted to assassinate her when she was just 15 years old. Despite facing grave risks, Malala refused to back down from her mission. She sacrificed her personal safety and endured immense hardship to continue speaking out and fighting for the rights of girls to receive an education. Malala's sacrifice resonated with people around the world, drawing attention to the urgent need for equal access to education. Her resilience and determination in the face of adversity inspired a global movement and amplified the voices of girls fighting for their right to learn. Moreover, Malala's leadership is characterized by her selflessness and dedication to uplifting others. She has used her platform and influence to advocate for education, particularly for girls in marginalized communities. She has established the Malala Fund which supports educational initiatives and empowers girls to reach their full potential. By examining Malala Yousafzai's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of sacrifice. Malala's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand that sacrifices may be necessary to advance a cause or create positive change. Her unwavering commitment to her mission, despite personal risks and challenges, inspires readers to reflect on their own willingness to make sacrifices for the greater good. The key takeaway from Chapter 18 is that leadership involves making sacrifices and prioritizing the greater good over personal interests. 
Malala Yousafzai's leadership exemplifies the power of sacrifice in advancing a cause, inspiring others, and creating lasting impact. Her example inspires readers to reflect on their own willingness to make sacrifices and pursue noble goals in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 19, The Law of Timing In Chapter 19 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of timing. This law emphasizes that effective leaders understand the significance of timing in their decision-making and actions. Maxwell highlights that successful leaders possess the ability to seize opportune moments, capitalize on trends, and make well-timed moves to maximize their impact. To further illustrate the law of timing, let's consider the example of Elon Musk, the entrepreneur and CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and other ventures. Musk's leadership journey and his strategic timing in launching disruptive technologies exemplify the power of timing in leadership. Musk has repeatedly demonstrated an ability to identify emerging trends and enter industries at critical junctures. One notable example is his involvement in the electric vehicle EV, industry. While EVs were still in their infancy and faced skepticism, Musk recognized the potential for disruptive change and launched Tesla Motors, now known as Tesla Inc., in 2003. By entering the market at the right time, Musk positioned Tesla as a pioneer in the EV industry. He capitalized on growing consumer interest in sustainability, coupled with advancements in battery technology, to propel Tesla to the forefront of the market. Musk's visionary timing allowed him to ride the wave of changing consumer preferences and spearhead the transition to electric mobility. Furthermore, Musk's leadership extends beyond the automotive industry. He founded SpaceX, an aerospace manufacturer and space transportation company, with a vision to revolutionize space exploration. By strategically timing the launch of SpaceX and leveraging emerging technologies, Musk disrupted the space industry and significantly reduced the cost of space travel. Musk's ability to seize opportune moments is also evident in his ventures such as SolarCity, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, where he aims to advance sustainable energy, explore brain-machine interfaces, and revolutionize transportation infrastructure, respectively. By examining Elon Musk's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of timing. Musk's example demonstrates that effective leaders possess the ability to identify strategic moments, align their actions with industry trends, and capitalize on emerging opportunities to drive innovation and create impact. The key takeaway from Chapter 19 is that leadership involves understanding the importance of timing in decision-making and action. Elon Musk's leadership exemplifies the power of well-timed moves in disrupting industries, driving innovation, and shaping the future. His example inspires readers to cultivate their own sense of timing, stay attuned to trends, and make strategic decisions that maximize their impact in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 20, The Law of Explosive Growth In Chapter 20 of the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of explosive growth. This law emphasizes the importance of fostering an environment conducive to growth and development, both personally and within an organization. Maxwell highlights that effective leaders understand the significance of continuous learning, empowering others, and creating conditions that allow for exponential growth. To further illustrate the law of explosive growth, let's consider the example of Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft Corporation. Nadella's leadership journey and his transformational leadership style exemplify the power of explosive growth in leadership. When Nadella assumed the role of CEO in 2014, Microsoft was undergoing a significant transition. Under his leadership, 
the company shifted its focus from a predominantly software-centric approach to a more cloud-based and inclusive strategy. Nadella embraced a growth mindset and led Microsoft through a cultural transformation that encouraged innovation, collaboration, and continuous learning. Nadella's emphasis on learning and personal growth is evident in his book, Hit Refresh, where he discusses the importance of empathy, curiosity, and resilience in driving innovation and embracing change. By fostering a growth mindset within the organization, Nadella encouraged employees to take risks, learn from failures, and continually adapt to a rapidly evolving technological landscape. Moreover, Nadella's leadership extended beyond the internal workings of Microsoft. He focused on empowering developers and partners by providing them with the tools and resources necessary for their growth and success. By nurturing a thriving ecosystem, Nadella fueled the explosive growth of Microsoft's products and services. Under Nadella's leadership, Microsoft experienced significant growth and expanded into new markets. The company's cloud computing platform, Azure, became one of the leading players in the industry, driving substantial revenue growth. Nadella's vision, strategic decision-making, and commitment to continuous growth positioned Microsoft as a powerhouse in the tech industry. By examining Satya Nadella's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of explosive growth. Nadella's example demonstrates that effective leaders prioritize continuous learning, foster a growth mindset, empower others, and create an environment conducive to exponential growth. The key takeaway from Chapter 20 is that leadership involves creating conditions for explosive growth, both personally and within an organization. Satya Nadella's leadership exemplifies the power of fostering a growth mindset, encouraging innovation, and empowering others to drive transformational change. His example inspires readers to embrace continuous learning, nurture a growth-oriented culture, and ignite explosive growth in their own leadership endeavors. Chapter 21, The Law of Legacy In Chapter 21 of The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, John C. Maxwell explores the law of legacy. This law emphasizes that effective leaders understand the importance of leaving a lasting impact and creating a positive legacy that extends beyond their time in leadership. Maxwell highlights that true leadership involves investing in others, developing future leaders, and making a meaningful difference that outlasts one's tenure. To further illustrate the law of legacy, let's consider the example of Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa and anti-apartheid revolutionary. Mandela's leadership journey and his profound impact on social justice and reconciliation exemplify the power of legacy in leadership. Mandela's lifelong commitment to fighting against apartheid and advocating for equality and human rights transformed not only South Africa but also inspired people around the world. His leadership was rooted in forgiveness, reconciliation, and a vision of a united and inclusive nation. One of Mandela's greatest contributions to his country and the world was his ability to transcend bitterness and foster a spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation. Through his leadership, he led South Africa through a peaceful transition from apartheid to democracy, setting an example for nations grappling with deep-rooted divisions. Furthermore, Mandela's legacy extends beyond his political accomplishments. After stepping down as president, he dedicated his time to philanthropy, education, and HIV-AIDS advocacy. Mandela established the Nelson Mandela Foundation and the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, focusing on initiatives that promote education, health care, and social justice. Mandela's leadership is characterized by his humility, resilience, and unwavering commitment to his principles. His ability to lead with integrity, empathy, and a long-term vision solidified his status as a global icon and a symbol of hope and reconciliation.
By examining Nelson Mandela's leadership journey, readers can grasp the essence of the law of legacy. Mandela's example demonstrates that effective leaders understand that their true impact lies in the lasting change they bring about and the legacy they leave behind. His unwavering commitment to justice, forgiveness, and unity inspires readers to reflect on their own leadership and consider the legacy they want to create. The key takeaway from Chapter 21 is that leadership involves investing in others, leaving a positive impact, and creating a lasting legacy. Nelson Mandela's leadership exemplifies the power of legacy in fostering reconciliation, promoting social justice, and inspiring future generations. His example inspires readers to embrace their role as stewards of change, nurture future leaders, and make a meaningful difference that extends far beyond their time in leadership. Conclusion The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell is a comprehensive guide that provides valuable insights into the essential principles of effective leadership. Throughout the book, Maxwell presents a wide range of laws that cover various aspects of leadership, from personal development to team dynamics, and from strategic decision-making to creating a lasting legacy. By exploring real-life examples of leaders who have exemplified these laws, the book offers practical wisdom and actionable advice for aspiring and seasoned leaders alike. The lessons from each chapter highlight key areas of leadership that readers can focus on to enhance their own leadership skills. Here are some actionable points to take away from the book. 1. Chapter 1. The Law of the Lid. Understand that your leadership ability determines the level of your effectiveness. Continuously invest in personal growth and development to raise your leadership lid. 2. Chapter 2. The Law of Influence Recognize that leadership is not about a title but about the ability to influence others positively. Focus on building relationships, listening attentively, and understanding the needs of those you lead. 3. Chapter 3 The Law of Process Embrace the journey of leadership and commit to lifelong learning. Develop your skills, seek mentors and coaches, and constantly improve yourself to become a better leader. 4. Chapter 4. The Law of Navigation. Set a clear vision and direction for your team or organization. Communicate goals effectively, make strategic decisions, and adapt to changing circumstances while keeping the destination in mind. 5. Chapter 5. The Law of Addition. Serve others and add value to their lives. Look for opportunities to contribute, uplift, and empower those around you. Practice empathy and generosity in your leadership approach. 6. Chapter 6. The Law of Solid Ground. Build trust and integrity as the foundation of your leadership. Be consistent, honest, and reliable in your actions and words. Lead with authenticity and earn the trust of your team. Seven. Chapter 7. The Law of Respect. Treat others with respect and dignity, regardless of their position or background. Value the contributions of your team members, listen to their ideas, and create an inclusive and supportive environment. 8. Chapter 8. The Law of Intuition. Develop your intuition and instinct as a leader. Learn to trust your gut feeling while making decisions and seek input from others to gain different perspectives before taking action. 9. Chapter 9. The Law of Magnetism. Cultivate your character and positive qualities to attract and inspire others. Led by example, practice humility and demonstrate genuine care for the well-being of your team. 10. Chapter 10. The Law of Connection. Connect with people on a genuine level. Build relationships, listen actively, and seek to understand others. Foster rapport and trust, as it enhances collaboration and teamwork. 11. Chapter 11. The Law of the Inner Circle. 
Surround yourself with a capable and diverse team. Seek individuals who complement your strengths, compensate for your weaknesses, and share your vision. Invest in their growth and development. 12. Chapter 12. The Law of Empowerment. Empower others to reach their full potential. Delegate responsibilities, provide autonomy, and foster a culture of trust and accountability. Support and mentor your team members to excel. 13. Chapter 13. The Law of Reproduction. Reproduce leaders by investing in and developing the next generation. Mentor and coach emerging talents, share knowledge and wisdom, and leave a lasting legacy of leadership. 14. Chapter 14. The Law of Buy-in. Gain the support and commitment of others by effectively communicating your vision and addressing concerns. Build consensus, inspire buy-in, and foster a sense of shared ownership. 15. Chapter 15. The Law of Victory. Lead with a mindset of victory. Set high standards, pursue continuous improvement, and rally your team toward a shared goal of success. Embrace challenges and maintain a positive attitude. 16. Chapter 16. The Law of Timing. Understand the importance of timing in decision-making and action. Seize opportune moments, align with industry trends, and make well-timed moves to maximize impact. 17. Chapter 17. The Law of Sacrifice. Be willing to make sacrifices for the greater good. Prioritize the mission and goals over personal interests, and be ready to give up certain things to achieve success. 18. Chapter 18. The Law of Priorities. Manage your time effectively and prioritize tasks that align with your goals. Focus your energy on activities that produce the greatest impact and contribute to your long-term vision. 19. Chapter 19. The Law of Timing. Cultivate a growth mindset and create conditions for exponential growth. Embrace continuous learning, empower others, and foster an environment conducive to innovation and development. 20. Chapter 20. The Law of Explosive Growth. Foster a growth-oriented culture, encourage innovation, and empower others to reach their full potential. Continuously learn, adapt, and capitalize on emerging opportunities. 21. Chapter 21. The Law of Legacy. Invest in others, leave a lasting impact, and create a positive legacy. Develop future leaders, champion causes that matter, and make a meaningful difference that extends beyond your time in leadership. By incorporating these lessons into your leadership journey, you can enhance your effectiveness, inspire others, and create a lasting impact. Remember, leadership is a continuous process of growth, learning, and service. Apply these principles, adapt them to your unique circumstances, and make a difference in the lives of those you lead.